John Malentic here again with Rex Richardson, world-renowned trumpet virtuoso, Yamaha performing artist, and a really nice guy. Um, <laughs> so we've had a good day in the studio. One more segment we're going to talk about here is uh, transcription. And it's obviously something we all do, and we all have to, uh, you know, to partake in to learn jazz. And we've all had those moments. I remember when you were assigning me Woody Shaw licks, and I'm trying to, you know, go back on a mini disc recorder, rewind, rewind, rewind to a, you know, certain minute time, listen to the lick fly by, go to the piano or go to my horn, rewind, and that process is just uh, kind of painful, but yeah. you know, necessary. Uh, we have a really cool way of just putting the software, identifying the lick, and just making the process real easy. So. Uh, what we want to do, we're going to go over to Studio One. Uh, Rex has a recording he wants to kind of talk, and this is the uh, Woody Shaw, what is this thing called, Love, from which album? It's uh, Live Volume 2. It's, uh, yeah. He did a bunch of live performances in the 70s with his quintet that were only recently released, like in the last 10 years or so. And uh, this is a, a particularly just... A, uh, you know, impressive solo that he did, and that I really like to dig into and learn some of his language. Cool. So we're gonna just kind of go through, and Rex is gonna jump in on the lick we're gonna talk about today, and we're gonna demonstrate how to pull out um, one lick and transcribe it really effectively and really quick using Studio One and um, Audio Box and recording. So um, I'm gonna start it here. Should give you about 10, 10, 15 seconds. That's it. So notice, you know, that lick. So I'll kind of trace it. I can look right here on the screen. I can see it starts at right about 156. So I'm just going to trace it out. So it starts about right here. So what I'm going to do just to make life really easy, like if I was transcribing this, is I'm just going to just cut this one thing out. I'm just going to deal with this because that's probably a good healthy practice session is just to invest in this. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so now, as you can see, we've basically just cut out this one second. And we have the whole thing. I'm actually going to trim it up just a little more so it's a little neater. Now, um, if you're Rex Richardson, you can listen to that and be like, oh, okay, and play it. Uh, I certainly can't do that at all. So uh, what I what I do because of how much I've done it. I mean, it takes. I mean, yeah. This is a much more efficient way to work on it, I think. So now I can click on this track. I'm going to go to the inspector. I'm actually going to set this up so I can time stretch it. Now, Studio One, any recording software is not automatically going to do this, but we can certainly make it happen very easily. So we have the metronome setting of the track. I'm just going to set the metronome tempo of the track to 160. Just It doesn't affect anything right now. It's still the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tell Studio One that the file tempo of this is 160. If you don't know the exact tempo, it's not a real issue. Um, as long as it's close, the relationship's the same. Basically, what I'm going to do is set it for 160, so if I then drop it to 80, it's half tempo, right. so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's actually already set. I'm going to then set it to time stretch. Now I've created a track, so I'd basically recommend pulling in all of your tracks you want to transcribe into individual files and have them ready to go. Even as a teacher, you could probably like send these out to students already done if they're all using the same software. Yeah. But Absolutely. now, I can take this, I'm going to drop it down to half tempo, so we're learning, we're going to work on our ears, and now, zoom right in, and we can listen to it. So you get, when you do half tempo, there's funky things like in the cymbals that sound good. It's like artifacts, but we can hear the lick and it's more audible. And I just realized I had learned it wrong up to tempo. No way. Yeah, there's, play it again. I couldn't hear it up to tempo. He had, at the end he does, instead of, he goes, it was actually cooler than what I thought he was doing. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, this is a lick I've known for, for years. First time I've been able to do this kind of manipulation of it, and I'm, I'm getting a new perspective on what he actually played. That's that cool. Funny? <laughs> so, you know, we can take it down. We can gradually speed it back up. 
And then when you really own it, you could actually also over in this inspector, there's this uh, transpose. So I could take it up two steps. So I can, uh, you know, now we can listen to it. I'm going to bring it up a little quicker, better to 120, just so it does. It stays aligned, so it jumps around just a little bit here. But now it's it's about you know 25% slower, but it's up a step. So when you want to own that lick in different keys, you can actually play along and still get all you know the phrasing and stuff. Yeah. So uh, Rex, let's jump this up to about 250 and uh, have you play it up the tritone. Is that <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the cameras off and the microphones, yeah. especially. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, I think just for jazz transcription, like this seems like the way you know a really great tool yeah because even like i've said I've, I've done countless transcriptions and when you're dealing with really up tempo materials especially stuff that's a little more harmonically unusual like this it's it's easy to miss out on the details and that this just demonstrated that for me this is uh, one of my favorite woody shaw lakes and i've realized now i didn't get it exactly right when i originally transcribed it this kind of uh, analysis of it that i can do with the system we just give deeper insights to everything you're listening to. Cool. Well, I do. I appreciate you taking the time to come hang today. I think this is uh, we you know try to shoot some videos that are helpful and just kind of talk about practice and, and technology. So we'll probably do some more of this. I'm sure you'll see Rex at a masterclass. RexRichardson.net, right, is the, uh, That's the right. website. Check him out. Check him out on tour. And uh, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, you, Sean. Real pleasure, man.